Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stock Switch Show Live Market Review. The QQQs wanted to go over this today because I read the market lower today, and I haven't said that for a long time. Only intraday, though. I have to be extremely important to point this out. The market I read lower today intraday. It was a tough call to make. Market even rallied over the high in the morning. I said it's lower, and I was right. And we're going to go over it, but I need to point out that even though the market was lower today, it was unexpected the way that we got down this morning. I didn't think we'd do that. I saw it. It got worse as it got into the open. But I read the market as bearish today. That was correct. We did follow through. We fell into the close. It was a good day to short. It was a good day to short. And I just have to be clear that the market is still going to make a new high this year and still going to make a new high this month. I, I don't know when. And I, and I won't know until I see it. I mean, that's a beautiful thing about knowing how to day trade. Again, day trading is an art. It's an art all itself. But if you are a day trader, you are seeing things in real life time specifically that you can make decisions on to, to get in and out of your trades. And for what I do on gaps, there's there's just no other better way to read stuff. The reason that I have accurate, so accurately read the market intraday and for the longer term is because I'm reading the gaps every day. Because market gaps actually basically almost every day. And I'm reading the market gaps every day I'm reading them. And the market's gapped down a lot and rally. But that was not the way I called it today. So, I don't know where we gap tomorrow morning. Again, uh, you know, we're definitely, probably, well, we're gapping down tonight. I just said it was here. I just don't know where we're going to open tomorrow morning. I mean, I just have to wait and see. I just, I just, I just don't know what we're going to do tomorrow until I see the gap. There's a possibility tomorrow we can be lower and come down and come down to 96 or even 95. Because those are the next targets down in here. Could we hold in here though? Yes. Yes, we could. This, this area could still hold in here. It still could. And it's, I'm not going to know until I see the gap. And I'm just not going to be able to tell what we're going to do tomorrow until I see the gap. And so I'm just going to have to wait to see. But I wanted to point out that the market was a nice short today if you did it intraday. But in the longer term picture, we're still higher. In the longer term picture, we're still going to make a new high. And, and, and actually, not even really the longer term picture, because I still think we're going to make a new high in this market this month. It's only October 7th. Yes, I called the market to be lower today, but we're going to fall through higher. And every time the market rallies up, comes in, makes a lower lower high, Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And every time the market does this, more people keep getting out, taking profits, selling into their longs, and then the shorts come in. But it's the wrong thing to do. Why? The market's in an uptrend. The market's in an uptrend. One of the best things that I have figured out about gaps, which was never the reason that I decided to figure it out anyways, was the fact that I can read longer term trends and things because I know how to read gaps right. And it is not based on pivot formations. There's so many things out there that teach people how to read trends based on pivots. It's not going to accurately tell you anything. And for people that are shorting this market, it is the wrong thing to do. Intraday, if you wanted to short today, you know, I really don't have a problem with that because I called it that way, lower and into the close, except for the fact that it's, you know, I would not short this market personally because I know it's too strong. I know it's too strong. Even though I read it right today as a short, and that's how it played out, you could have shorted the market today. But, you know, I just don't think it's the right thing to do to play against this market because it's been so bullish. But today was a short in the market. And overall, I still don't think we're doing the crazy deep pulling that people keep talking about. I just don't think it's going to play out that way. Obviously, I'll see if it does on the live day when I see the gaps. People think this market's going to come all the way into some crazy number like 92, 91, 50, 91. Could it? Sure, it could. It could do anything it wants. The only thing I have 100% conviction in is what? Market isn't an uptrend. Market isn't breaking. Nothing that's happened here is uh, bearish in the longer term. We were bearish in today. Market will make a new high before the end of the year. Market's going to still go to some crazy number before the end of the year. All of that is still in play. Seems hard to see right now, but I'm reading this whole overall picture here, the bigger picture here, and seeing it. And if something changes, I'll say it. Just like today. Today, this gap down the market was a no-go. It was a shorter. Now, let's look at the... Actually, let's look at the five. Because I think the five was where it was tricky, 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 and, and intraday traders try to trade this five. So here's the market dropping. Dropping fly this morning. Boop down a little bit. Broke the low teeny weeny bit. Rallied, 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 and rallied and continued. 
and actually faked lower here. Did a five minute sell set up fail. Rally, 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 rallied over the high, rallied over the high, like more than a little teeny weeny bit. Okay. Market rallied over the high, and I still said, no, we're lower. We're lower, we're lower, we're lower. This is a fake out. We're going to set up on a 15 minute sell setup. This is a fakey. And I was right. And then even in here, we triggered. Wasn't ready yet. Wasn't ready, wasn't ready, wasn't ready. There. Then it did it again. It did it again, came down, retested in here. Look at this in here. Again, people tried to buy this thinking it was going to support itself and hold. And I don't blame anyone for buying this today. Why? Because the market really is still in an uptrend. But the market was going to break today. I knew the market was going to break the low today. It just happened late. It happened late. And here's where all of it came in. All of this. Whoop, doo -doo -doo -doo. And you know, there was a report out this afternoon, but you know what? I didn't even care. I didn't even look at that. I saw the market was going to break today this morning into the first five, ten minutes of the day. It didn't have anything to do with the report that was out at 10 o'clock or 3 o'clock or whatever. You can watch those things. You can look for those things. You can look to see if the market's going to fall off through or continue or change direction, those things. But that's not the reason I called this market to do this today. How did I know the market was going to break today? Because I read the gap. I read the gap in the daily chart. And if I had rated the gap today, it probably wouldn't have rated half bad. Now, again, I did not short this market today because I'm not going to short this market because I know there's so much power into it to the upside still, like, raging to come any second. But... You know, you could have shorted this market today, and I called it that way, and it worked out. And this was tough. I'm sure a lot of people didn't read this right today. Why? Because of the fact that the market held in here and then rallied over the high, and it happened late. And that is okay to see that that way. I mean, I can't, I could not have blamed you for seeing this way or the hold in here into the lunchtime period. So I really did a great job reading this accurately today. In fact, when I was saying it, I said to myself, geez, I, I don't even know how I'm seeing this. I said that, I think, at one point this morning. Because this was a tough call. It was a tough call to make the market lower today, the way it was acting. But I saw it. And it's really, it's, it's a combination of reading the gap and the price action live. Live. Reading the price action live. And I think it's one of the things that's good about being in the live trading room with me. Sometimes I will have everything set up and ready to go. But then you see everything in the open and you say, oh! And you just see it right away. Whether you see something that's going to work right away or fail right away, you see it up, oh, you see it right away. And you make the decision. To be able to think on your feet counts. Counts as a day trader. And I think it counts as any trader that you are, no matter what. Okay. People love to do swing trades and overnights. People are swing trading this market short. It's just, it's, it's not the right thing to do. I don't think the way that I see this in here, that we're going to some crazy number lower. Could we still pull in more? Yes. What's the next target? 96, and we could get there tonight or tomorrow morning. Then after that, 95. Okay. But I really won't know where we head next until I see the gap tomorrow morning. But I need to be very clear that even though I call this market short today, intraday, we are still in an uptrend. The market's still in an uptrend. The market's not going to come have some crazy correction. This is not the high of the market for years and months to come. The market is still going to continue higher here for all intents and purposes unless I see something that tells me otherwise, which I don't see right now. I just don't see that right now. But, you know, this market is definitely having this little looky, looky, looky loo to it up in here where I know it's bringing all the people that want to short this market in. I mean, it is bringing in traders that are shorting. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. I think that it's just one of these things where you have to look at what's really going on each day and you read the gap. But I know that people are shorting this market. <clears throat> and then the longs are getting scared, scaredy cats. And then the longs are taking out the profits. And so you could see some fall through of that actually tomorrow here because people are going to be scared when I see the way the market fell here today. It did fall through in the gap today, actually. So this is the Stocks with Show Live Trading Room. This is Melissa. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course to learn how to read gaps, to learn how to read gaps that are going to work in the direction of the gap or not, or what to do with them, or to read the market, or to be in the live trading room, which you must take the Golden Gap class to be in the live trading room to get my market calls and the calls and the trades. I think people have to learn how to trade to do it well. I think people can. I think if you're committed to your trading, you can do well. And, uh, boy, today was a good day. <laughs> today was definitely a fun day. Tough, tough call to make. In the market today, though, I did it well. I just got to stay on track here. I just got to stay on track, stay focused, keep keep seeing things as clearly as I am, which I am very, very grateful to be able to do.
So nice start to the fall trading season here today, October 7th. This is Melissa with the Stock Swish Show Live. Email me if you want to sign up for the next Golden Gap class. It's this weekend, October 11th and 12th. Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a good day, everybody.